Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzik Arcade at BergzikArcade.net and here we are back again in our RPG controller and I had a question about being able to, well not automatically go from walk to run but to have some sort of toggle set up for well, just walking and this is something I want to implement. Uh, I hadn't actually planned on implementing it this early but we can go ahead and do it as it does show something pretty cool in Mechanum and let's just go ahead and jump straight in. So I'm going to go into the code first and under the move, well, I guess we could make another one up here for walking. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a method for it. Well, you know what? Let's not over complex it. We can go ahead and break this up a little bit more later. This is coming to move right before we call the animation here. And we're just going to do an if block. And what we want to do is just see if we're holding down a certain key. For me, I'm going to set the toggle up to be my left shift key because that's usually what most RPG style games, at least the ones that I play are. If you're holding this key down, you're either going to run or walk, depending how it's set up in their options. And when you let go of it, you switch to the other one. Now by default, I want my character to run. And there's a couple ways we can work this. We can either have it be a toggle as when I hit it, it switches from one mode to the other, or I could have it where I press it down and it's active. And if I let it up, it's un, well, it's deactivated. I think I like the toggle idea better where if I click it, it'll just flip the switch basically. But let's go ahead and we'll look up both of them. I'll do the other one first because then I can just get rid of it and do the one I actually like. So I'm going to go in and check for an input. And the input we're going to want is get key down. And I'm just going to use a key code here. And for those that don't know, it's just basically you tell it what key. In this case, I'm using key code. No, I don't want space, so I want the shift button. More importantly, the left shift. There we go. So what I'm saying is if I'm pressing the left, if, I, if this frame I press down on the left shift button, I'm going to call our animator. And I'm going to set a Boolean value. We haven't set that up yet, but we will. And what can I call this? Let's just call this Boolean value walk. Make sure it's actually in the parenthesis. So when I'm pressing this down, make sure we're walking. So I'm going to set it to true. And then we'll do the exact same thing for get key up. Except we'll set walk to false. And again, a quick reiteration, when we're pressing this key down, which happens to be left shift, we want our character to walk. When we let this key up, we want our character to well, start running again. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into Unity. We're gonna have to set this bool up, so we'll click the little plus arrow, hit the bool, and I call it walk, right? Capital W, yep. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our transitions. The only transitions we really have to worry about are the, the ones between walk and run. So I'm going to click this first one and we'll click this little plus button down here. We'll go to walk and we're going to say if walk equals false, that means we can run. But the problem is going to be when we actually come to this one. And let's just take a look at the actual running part first. And I'm not worried about the actual view down here as I just want to watch how the states are changing up here. So let's go ahead and we'll start it. I'm going to hold down the W key. And that's the normal behavior. We'll let go. He goes back just to idle. We'll hold it again. And if I hold down shift, it's not doing anything. So let's go ahead. We'll restart it. And this time I'm going to hold shift down before I hit W. And there we go. He only ever walks. As soon as I let go, he goes in to run. And when I press it again, he doesn't come back out. So we need a way for him to come back out of that state. And the first thing most people usually do, we'll just come down here and add walk equals true. And this isn't going to work because the, just the way mechanism process stuff, let's go ahead, we'll just try this out. I'll show you. So we'll go ahead, we'll run, hit shift. He's not coming out. And the reason why is it has to meet all of these conditions in order to make this transition. So he has to be moving less than this and walk has to be true. So as long as we're pressing down W, 
His speed is always going to be greater than 0.85, so he's never going to come out. But there is a way to work this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We'll click the little takeaway button. And it has to do with up here. Think of these as ands, like this condition has to be true, and the next condition has to be true, and the next condition has to be true. But there is a way to set up uh, an or condition. So this condition or the other one. And we can just simply click the transition, right click. I'm sorry. Click on the trend, uh, click on the animation, right click, make transition, and go to walking again. And now you're going to have these multiple arrows here. And if we click on the transition line, we now have two up here. So we have from standard to walking and standard run to walking again. And we'll notice on the first one, the list is empty. The second one's the one we've already set up. The forward is less than 0.85. Let's click that first one. And now we can go ahead and add the walking one here. And we say walking equals true. So the way this is working now is it checks both of them. And if either walking is less than 0.85 or walking equals true, it'll make this transition for us. So now if we start this bad boy back up, I go and I'm running, hit shift. He automatically comes back down to walk. Let go, he goes back to run. Press shift down again, he goes back to walk. And let's go ahead and watch we'll a look at the animation as well. So here he is, he's running, walk, running, walk. So there we go. Now I'm going to switch this over to a toggle because I don't want to have to check for get key up, get key down. If you want it that way, by all means, go ahead and leave it that way. But I am going to switch mine over. But before I do, uh, I get this question a lot too, is how do I get my camera up here to follow? And that's pretty simple. Everyone should learn this. So F will focus in on something. So remember F for focus. And if you want it to follow, so the camera follows him, press FF. And I like to think of it as focus follow. And you can zoom out a bit. So FF, focus follow. I'm not sure if that's actually the official nomenclature for it, but that's how I remember it. FF, focus follow, F, focus. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll switch it to the way that I want it to work. And in order to do that, I am going to need to put a Boolean value up here. And I'm going to call it is walk king. And by default, I want it to be false. And we'll come down here. Get rid of that. And this is where I'm actually going to check for walking. I'll make a function for it, not is walking, just walking. I'll put it above here. And this is where I'm going to move this code to. I just like it to be separate in case I want to come in and do something a little bit later on. Keep, keep these functions very focused on exactly what they're going to do. And we will need parentheses in this one because we're going to be doing more than one statement in here. And the way I'm going to look at it is say, if the key, if we have this key held down, and for now I'm going to keep it as the left shift. Later on I'll want to switch more to a more, I guess, robust input system. But for now we'll keep it this way. Uh, if it's that, what I'm going to do is take the is walking bool. And I'm going to flip it. And what this basically says is uh, whatever is walking is, flip it to the other state. So it, since there can only be two states, it just switches them. So if, it, if it's true by default, or in this case we have it set to false, uh, the first time we press it, it's going to switch it to true. So the next time around, it's going to be true. And if I press it again, it's going to switch to the false. It's just a nice, easy way just to basically think of it. I like to think of it as flipping a light switch. Then we're going to pass in is walking here. Now we don't really need to keep this variable here. What we could do is actually just grab the variable from the mechanism portion and flip it that way. It's more code, longer code. To me, this is easier to read, easier to follow through, and well, it provides the exact same functionality. So let's go ahead, we'll save that. And it should just work exactly the same out of the box. So we'll jump into Unity. 
and fix all of our errors. And after that big talk I just did, I put the exclamation mark in the wrong spot. We want it here. We want it to equal whatever the opposite value is. <laughs> so that's the proper way to do it. All right, we'll jump back in. That error should disappear. There we go. So let's go ahead. We'll start this bad boy up. We're running. Hit we just have to tap it. We don't have to hold it down or anything. He walks. And if we tap it again, he starts running again. So this is the behavior I want, and it's gonna be the exact same thing I used later on for switching between first player and third person. But uh, that's where we get into the camera scripts. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out a little bit, gives you a little bit more knowledge to work with. Keep in mind those different states for the state machine. Let's go ahead, we'll just quickly look at it. Ones down here are and conditions, the ones up here are or conditions. Anyway, Thanks for watching everyone. If you really do like this series, make sure to give that a big thumbs up. Maybe share it on some of your social media out there as it really does help me out. It's the best way to actually help me out. And I'll see everyone else in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>